हे गाइज वेलकम बैक एवरीबडी होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी फाइव मोस्ट यूजफुल कमांड्स फॉर नेटवर्क ट्रबल शूटिंग ऑन सिस्को आई ओ एस हेयर यू कैन सी आई हैव एक्सेस ऑफ वन सिस्को डिवाइस वेयर आई ओ एस इज रनिंग आई ओ एस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज रनिंग एंड आई मस्ट टेल यू दिस इज एन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन Recently, one of my paid student received this question in interview, and he shared the question with me, and I thought to make one video on it. So, without wasting our time, let's begin, guys. See, whatever command we are going to discuss here today, these all are very important for network trouble shooting. So, whenever there is problem in network, the first thing is we need to check logs, right? Like Let's suppose from last one hour, users are not able to access a specific server or a specific application, or maybe internet or maybe remote side servers, right? So, log message is going to give me the detailed information of the issue, right? And the command which we can use to check the log messages, so log, so log. This command will give you the logs. You can see logs. with time at which time on october 17 at this time it this device has generated this log message and you can see like this these all are the log messages if you know don't know how to read the log messages then i have uploaded one video on my youtube channel just search sys log pm networking on youtube you will get one video right watch that video in that video i had discussed sys log these log messages in detail how to read like you can see some message are regarding the interfaces interface change to up or down right some uh, log messages are regarding the administrative mode here you can see when you will configure the protocol you will have log message for the protocol right so this is the first useful command for the network trouble shooting then guys second command is going to be so ip route as you know whenever router need to forward traffic to any destination then route should be available in the routing table of router otherwise router will drop the traffic so so ip route command is going to provide me the detail information like a lots of information route is there or not what is the next stop ip address next stop is reachable or not like we can ping to next stop ip address what is the exit interface we can check the app table after that after checking the route if route is there and let's say router is not able to ping their next stop ip address so this command is again very useful so ip route you can see this is the routing table and the, in the routing table of this router there are only directly connected networks right these are the directly connected networks but guys many informations are there like the network information subnet prefix length subnet mask after that network is connected on which interface right if you don't know again how to read the routing table like you can see read this line 12.1.0/8 is variably subnetted to subnet to subnet masks right after that one is this one one another one is this one one is the local and one is the subnet means local ip address and another one is this entry is the subnet network id this is network id this is local ip address which is 32 so if you don't know how to read the routing table then you can watch video right video is already there on my youtube channel for routing table also so this is the second command third command can be arp as i told you if route is there but it might be possible router is not able to resolve mac address of next stop ip address so in trouble shooting we are using this command also so ip arp and in the arp table you can see router is storing their ip address with mac address right ip address with their mac address so this can be the third command third trouble shooting command guys the fourth trouble shooting command can be so ip interface brief like 
let's say you want to verify the interface configuration the IP is correct or not on the interface submit is correct or not on the interface port is up or not their line protocol is up or not so for these types of information we can use this command so IP interface brief and in so IP interface command you can see some inter on some interfaces we have the IP address their status is also up their line protocol is also up where this information is saved in NVRAM right the is this interface support IP addressing IPv4 protocol so yes some protocols are unassigned right unassigned their line protocol is down and their status is also down even we can filter the output like we can say so IP interface brief and then we can say exclude unassigned interface so show me the assigned interface only so now you can see the output is looks fair right so these are the assigned interface then we can say show me only unassigned interface right so I can say include unassigned include unassigned only so you can see these are the unassigned so whenever in real time we will be uh, using troubleshooting command guys uh, we will try to filter the output because if you will run so run right there will be lots of configuration so better to filter it let's say if you want to check the line VTY configuration or not so I can say so run and then include line VTY like this so it will show me the line VTY configuration only right then fourth command can be the detail configuration of interface I can run so run interface let's say f0 slash 0 show me the configuration of this interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right if there is some issue with this interface so here you can see on this interface I have configured the IP address I have run no such command that's it right then guys next command can be we can check the detailed configuration of this particular interface at layer 2 at layer 3 so so IP interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 this command will give me the detailed configuration of this interface so see the output like fast ethernet 0 this is the ID and in interface type is up their line protocol is also up what is the address there what is the submit mask there right and many more informations are there like proxy RP is enabled right and uh, this interface is not joined any multicast group so whatever information you want to check you can check over here in the same way for the layer 2 we can run command show interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right one is so IP interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and another one is F0 interface F0 slash 0 right here we can see the MAC address of this interface MTU we can see we can check the bandwidth we can check the delay reliability load right TX load RX load we can check the keep alive we can check the duplex so these are the detailed information even we can check the errors right and guys we can again filter the output let's say I want to know the MAC address of interface F0 slash 0 only so so interface F0 slash 0 and I can say include BIA right so it will show me the MAC address only like this so these are the most useful troubleshooting command on Cisco iOS guys if you need one detailed video on you know troubleshooting command please let me know in the chat I will make the video detailed video on troubleshooting commands as soon as possible where we can discuss 20 troubleshooting command 50 troubleshooting commands or 100 troubleshooting commands in detail that's all for today guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you are new on the channel please subscribe this channel we'll meet soon in the next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today thanks for watching